One, two, fractal stew. What's up everybody, Rob Flax here. I play things with strings, I hit stuff, and I sing. And today I'm excited to share with you my brand new fiddle tune. I wrote a fiddle tune. It is the first of its kind in history, as far as I know. This is a fractal fiddle tune. It's a fiddle tune that is also a fractal. Now what is a fractal? I'm glad you asked. A fractal is a mathematical structure that is self-similar, which means when you zoom in, it looks the same. Here is the most famous one. This is the Mandelbrot set, discovered by Benoit B. Mandelbrot. If you want some really great videos about the Mandelbrot set, I'm going to link one in the description below. But what's cool about the Mandelbrot set is when you zoom in, see it's got this big structure here, right? But when you zoom in on just a little piece of it, maybe this bulb, ah, now we can see there's these other little tiny bulbs. And if you zoom in even more, there's other little tiny bulbs. And interestingly enough, no matter how far down you zoom, there will still be that exact same shape. It's worth mentioning that it's not at every single shape and every single level of zoom, right? When you're all the way out, there's this heart-shaped thing. I like to think it looks a little bit like a butt, but I'm 12 years old. Forever 12. It doesn't have to be self-similar at every single level. There's parts of it that when you zoom in on just that little part, it looks more like the thing again. But Rob, how can a fiddle tune be a fractal? I'm glad you asked. Let's take a look. Here is the sheet music for my tune, the fractal hornpipe. Now, I think it's a hornpipe. I'm not entirely sure. It feels like a hornpipe, like Fisher's hornpipe, or college hornpipe, or Cincinnati hornpipe, or lots of other hornpipes that kind of have a little bit of arpeggiation, this medium bouncy kind of feel to it. I think it's a hornpipe. If you're a fiddle tune expert and you could tell me if this is in fact a reel or a polka or something else and I've got it twisted, leave a comment and let me know. Okay, but I think it's a hornpipe and here's the sheet music for it. It's pretty standard fiddle format. It's got an A section, it's got a B section. <laughs> it's got an A section and a B section. They repeat A, A, B, B. So what makes this self-similar? Let's zoom in a little bit. If we take a closer look at the first measure, which I have cleverly color-coded here, this idea is going to appear on multiple levels. Each of these notes is going to appear again elsewhere in the tune at these exact structural landmarks. So let's treat the first measure as level one of zoomed in, right? 
So we've got a D and then split between F sharp and A, A, G, F sharp and E. Well, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's look at level three. Level two would be two measures in a row. So level three would be four measures in a row. And sure enough, when we spread those color coding things around, you can see that those same notes appear in the same proportional places. D at the start of the first measure instead of the first beat, F sharp and A in the second measure instead of the second beat, A and G in the third measure instead of the third beat, and F sharp and E at the fourth measure. All right, well, let's zoom out even further. If we zoom out all the way to level five, you'll notice that we also have those same notes demarcating every, uh, basically treat every line as a measure. So line one is measure one, starts with a D. Line two is measure two, and it's split between an F sharp and an A. Line three is measure three. Line four is measure four. Sure enough, all of the notes in the first measure are present everywhere else. So here it is again in slow motion. There's zoomed in level one, level three, level five. And it has all of these at the same time. So that makes it, as far as I'm concerned, a fractal. Levels one, three, and five are self-similar. But what about levels two and four? Well, level two, as far as I'm concerned, would be every two measures. Level four would be the whole A section, and then maybe the B section as well. I couldn't figure out a way to take this melodic idea and make it self-similar on all five levels. But as we saw in the Mandelbrot set, it doesn't have to be self-similar at every single level to be a fractal. There's lots of beautiful fractals out there, and if you're interested in more, I've got some links in the description below. Check out the fractal videos. They're just pretty, and they're cool math, and they're complicated, and really chaotic and interesting. It's fascinating stuff. Just like when making a fractal in real math, a small change to that initial cell generates drastically different results. If I had picked a different measure for that first starting one, it would change the entire shape and scope of the rest of the tune. I had to get something where those landmarks would fit and create a melodic contour that made sense. The other challenge was writing a tune that didn't suck. I wanted to make a fiddle tune that was fun to play, and if you didn't know it was a fractal, would still be entertaining. Do you think I succeeded? Let me know. All right, that's it for today's video. If you have some other ideas about how to make a fractal fiddle tune, let me know, or maybe some other fiddle tune. If you can find a way to make a fractal on all five levels, that would be amazing. I might write some more. I guess it doesn't also have to be only the first measure. I could take that cell and put it somewhere in the middle. It could be like measure 13 is the self-similar one that generates more. It's just a lot harder to write starting from the middle of the tune. So if you've got some ideas for that or would like to see more of this, uh, leave a comment and let me know what I should try next. Do you have other favorite mathematical abstract structures you'd like to see turned into danceable fiddle tunes? <laughs> me neither, but if you think of one, let me know. I'm curious. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notifications for when I post any new videos. And thank you to my patrons on Patreon. They support what I'm doing. The full music will be downloadable as well as the sheet music on my Patreon page. So thank you to my supporters. If you'd like to learn this tune, go support me on Patreon for as little as $1 a month and you'll get access to the sheet music for this and the recording. Thank you and see you next time. How can a fiddle tune be a fractal? How can a fiddle tune be a fractal? How can a fiddle tune be a fractal? How can a fiddle tune be a fractal, you ask? How can a fiddle tune be a fractal? How can a fiddle tune be a fractal, you ask? I'm so glad you did. Let me tell you. Each of these each of these notes <sighs> How can a fiddle tune be a fractal? But Rob, how can a fiddle tune be a fractal? Can I point to, there's an A section and a B section. The A section repeats, the B section repeats. Very standard format. Remember, we have, uh, <laughs> I can't point to this on the screen. Oh my. <laughs>